With the recent case of Jill Farrell, a nurse in England who had decided to end her own life at a clinic in Switzerland, I asked people in the streets of Athlone whether they feel that they had the right to end their own life in a manner of their own choosing. Yes, yes, I agree with that. Um, I think that people should um, be able to have uh, the right to make their own decisions about their health care. That includes the final decision about whether they um, are you know, are, are prepared to die or not. We're in two different minds about that. Um, my personal feeling is I'll rather go um, without pain. So that's my choice. Hers is she'll go the natural route. So we're in two different minds about that, eh? But that's my opinion. My opinion is it's a very sad end to a life, you know. It's very hopeless, really, isn't it? There has to be, you know, more, more up there and more for us than just, you know, at the end of it all. But, but if you were in pain, would you, would you not want a way to, to, to be no, able to there bring is no, to No, there's no way I could comprehend that situation for me, you know. Do, do you think it's a religious thing? But I suppose with me, partly it is because I have hope, you know. I completely agree with it. I think everybody's the right to, to end their own life or live and behave as, as they choose as long as they don't, don't affect anybody else. What do you feel about, say, people having the right to die if their the life becomes unbearable? Oh, I definitely think so. There should, shouldn't be any other way. I think everybody should be able to um, do that themselves. I think that it's appropriate that people should be able to choose when they want to die. It's not got anything to do with religion. It's about your own life, not God's path for you.